Hello, everyone. Today, I'm so excited to be joined by the Episcopal Class of 2021 Volleyball Dynamic Duo of Simone and Bria Woodard, now recently committed to Howard University for the Volleyball Class of 2025. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Yes, of course. I'm glad I got both of you guys. Um, I want to start off by asking, so of course you guys both recently um, committed, originally verbally committed to Texas A&M and then decided to make the switch to Howard University, one of the most historical um, HBCUs. What made you guys make that switch? Um, Just seeing how important they were and wanting to like be a part of like a community more like myself mm-hmm. yeah, yeah that, that's Simone I'm Bria um yeah honestly I just think it was more community-based because you realize that we I mean, we've been lacking like that sense of community going um just we haven't had it in our lives you know yet mm-hmm. and we really just want to have a new experience being around like a big a large black community. I mean, we're in Jack and Jill, which is awesome. Like we, we still have like that small community, but just having like the big, like grand scheme of things, that would be amazing. Yes, for sure. Definitely. That's usually like the number one reason why you hear a lot of people um, want to go to an HBCU. Um, but there's so many HBCUs you can choose from. So I want to know what made you guys pick Howard over another program, another HBCU program. Um, well, Howard's volleyball team has like won the MIAC championship yeah. years in a row. And, um, like the ones that would probably be like our top schools would be like Xavier University of Louisiana. That's where our parents went. Okay. And, um, like Spelman, but Spelman has no volleyball team. Mm-hmm. Um, and Howard's also like a great, great school that is really cool to go to. And we were also talking to the Howard coaches before we commit to Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. So we were a little bit more familiar with their program and like the school. And we've been, we've actually been on Howard's campus a lot, like in our lives. Our aunt lives in DC. So we're really familiar with the area. Yeah. So it was a no brainer for you guys when it came to choosing. Yeah. It was a perfect. So over, of course, over the past couple of months, we've seen a lot of top prospects now deciding to choose HBCUs over the traditional D1 programs where we see them will go, especially McCore Maker, one of the top top um, five-star basketball recruits, also chose Howard University. And the biggest thing that he was saying was, if I'm the only one who, you know, decides, if I'm the only top prospect that decides to go to HBCU, it will just be a moment. But if several, you know, top athlete prospects decides to pick HBCUs, it'll be a movement. So did his decision have any influence on you guys? No, it didn't. I mean, we saw it, Mm -hmm. but we don't really know very much about basketball. Yeah. So (laughs) we heard about it kind of, but yeah, we didn't really have any, he didn't really have that much influence or like any influence on our decision. Okay. Independent thinkers. I, I feel like still, it's, it's still, you know, all collectively going to be in the same movement. So it's amazing nonetheless. So what do you hope, what do you guys hope to get out of your um, collegiate volleyball career? Well, we definitely want to go as far into the NCAA tournament as possible. Of course, we want to win our conference championships, um, but we really want to make an impact and possibly make history. Um, also, like the volleyball team right now is in like this really big come up, and they've been winning the MIAC championships for like I think probably like five something years in a row, and um, the team is just doing really well. And we met we met a bunch of the girls, and they're amazing. So uh, they can't wait to have you both. I'm excited. We're definitely excited to see what you guys are going to do. So um, you guys met the team, you met the coaches. Um, so now we just got to see you guys on the court come 2021. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind, you ladies will be the one to make history. And I'm so glad I got to talk to you both today. Um, we're definitely going to be looking out for you guys. You know, HBCU game day, we cover all HBC sports. So we'll definitely keep our eyes peeled for you two um, on the volleyball court come 2021. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, of course.